the Gulo building. This is part of the theater. Well, bicycle like these trees. And this is a neat building here too. It's kind of Victorian. Look at this big tree with the limbs extending out of some maple tree. This is a pretty campus. Leafy. So I had to describe it. They've got these buildings really uh, jammed in here. Pretty close together. Look at the trees. I like the trees. Conifers. And a few deciduous, most of them are conifers. There's that big old tree. This is sort of a quad right here. I don't know who this guy is. Must be one of the uh, pioneers that came across country. Man, would you look at all the students. I guess this is the main avenue right here. And class is out. The big game is tonight. This is a science library, I believe. The Onyx Bridge. All right, they got a downstairs courthouse. All right, I'm here. Sort of in the middle, I guess. Right in the middle of the campus. Probably 25 or 30,000 students are here. All right, Museum of Art. And this is where I came in, right here. The Miller Theater Complex. And we're about Dee Dee Building. And I came along, this is a, uh, this is sort of a main, main drag right here. And this right here is the, I guess that's the uh, Student Union. Well, which way shall I go? We got a cemetery on campus. That's something. Pioneer Cemetery on campus. I think I'll go to the uh, Snitzer Museum of Art. Right there. Look at this uh, sunflower growing right here. All kinds of flowers growing along here. Look at this, this is nice. Yeah, this is a... Uh, this is one of the streets where people can drive on. And I don't know what this building is. It's kind of unusual. I think it's an office building. Check this out. Don't know what it is, but it's neat. So this is getting on towards the eastern part of campus. This answers the question. It's a Museum of Natural and Cultural History. That's the wolf and the uh, whale. Free admission. Hey, I'm going in. Yes, sir. It's for me. Oh, that's a sockeye salmon there. There it is. Let's go in and check it out. Nice wooden structure. This is the uh, map of the Wilmette Valley. The river comes down from the mountains, joined by the McKenzie River and Eugene.
once you go south of here, it's basically uh, pretty mountainous. I wonder what river this is. Could this be the Rogue River? Yes, it is. Rogue River. Here's Cradle Lake in the Cascades, Mount McLaughlin. There's the Klamath River, which flows into California. These are the Klamath Mountains here, right on the California border. These are the Cascades right here. And there's three sisters right there. Mount Jefferson, Mount Hood, Portland. All right, then once you get west of the Cascades, it's starting to get a little bit dry. Klamath River, Klamath Falls. Pretty dry here. Burns Paiute. Then you get up here, you have the Wapara Mountains. And over here you have the Snake River, Hell's Canyon. What is this, a saber-toothed tiger? That's my guess. Ichthyosaur, part of the spine there, a camel, leg bone, false saber tooth cat, 23 million years ago. Look at this animal, a swimming giant, like modern sockeye salmon, saber tooth salmon. This is a saber tooth. Salmon, wow. Like modern sockeye salmons, saber tooth salmon string tiny plants and animals called plankton from the water. Animals that eat plankton grow very large, including the largest animal ever, the blue, the blue whale. Did they swim to the sea? Yes, saber tooth salmon bones are found inland, traced to the sea. Fish have hatched in streams, swam to sea, and struggle back up land. Now, when did they die out? Salmon. The salmon family tree. It's together. He's asleep. Pacific salmon. All right, you got the brown trout, you got the Atlantic salmon. Cutthroat, steelhead. Masu, Chinook King, Coho, Chum, Pink, Sake, Extinct Saber Tooth Sam. Okay. Whatever happened to the Saber Tooth? All right. Look at this, this is a pretty cool map here. Salmon going, going in the land, people are trying to catch him fishing. Everybody's trying to catch them. Fishermen. People with sailing nets. Seals. Elephant seals. Birds. 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 Eagles. Bears. Killer whales. Sharks. Every damn body. This is not your family tree, grandfather, great grandfather, grandfather, father, you. This is your family tree. Second cousins, cousins, siblings, you. 
parents, grandparents, great grandparents. This is not evolution. British Solomon, can't you? This is evolution. Common ancestor of all vertebrae, fishes. Common ancestor of four-legged vertebrates, amphibians. Common ancestor of mammals, mammals. This is a coevolution, evolution, coevolution. Coevolution, they're talking about horses and dogs evolved together from grasslands, ancient grasslands. Animals and plants evolved together. Dogs and horses evolved side by side in North America. All right, back to the horses. They learned to eat grass. All right, early horses belong to the Eohippotus, smaller than today's miniature ponies. They had low ground teeth for eating forest plants, who toes, front toes. Little bitty guys here, huh? All right. Middle horses. As the landscape changed and the ground became harder, horses adapted by walking on fewer toes. Some members of the second group, the and who can't pronounce that, added grass to their diet. Late horses, equinines, were the third group of horses. It's smaller, they had taller teeth with complicated folds of enamel, adapted to eating lots of gritty grass. Gritty grass. Giant ground sloths were slow grazing animals to large size and discouraged attacks of predators. Many giant plant eaters roam Oregon alongside the sloths from mammoths and mastodons to giant beavers the size of black bears today. This is the big sloth. It's got some claws. A different Oregon. Giant ground sloth, elk. This is a uh, ancient bison, bigger than the current bison. 
you had mammoths, and you had mastodons, and you had giant beavers. <laughs>